if I could have two people as headliners at the Gilly Fest, it would be NBA Young Boy and Lil Dirk. Hey, you let them, hey, get, get them to let me out this house. I, I hit that stage for you. How you want me to come? Every chain on or just one chain? Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. We're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored, and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers. So, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. Now, let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, I find it interesting how NBA Youngboy continues telling the public that the beef between him and Dirk isn't what everyone think it is despite people thinking that NBA Youngboy and Lil Durk are really into it with each other. Y'all remember back when Durk had an album coming out and so did NBA Youngboy coincidentally, and during that time these two addressed each other the most that they probably ever addressed each other. Of course it was mostly for sales, as we would see Durk respond the most to someone who's considered his op, more than the actual people we know he actually had problems with back in Chicago. This was the same time when Youngboy would take pictures around himself and money, and it spelled out, you in words gonna die. Keep in mind that he had a project coming out called Colors. Lil Durk would respond with a post of his own, saying quote, color blonde, but we still see red. As he would spell out, hurry y'all be at up in hundred dollar bills, the same way NBA Youngboy would do it as his own reaction. Now both would continue to go back and forth subliminally or on social media until NBA Youngboy dropped his project, and that's when pretty much everything died down, if y'all remember. Now also, let's rewind back to the time when NBA Youngboy told us it's all just entertainment the first time. This came at the time NBA Youngboy would be into it with his label, and remember when India called herself being single from Dirk and NBA Youngboy called himself shooting his shot? He had a bunch of tweets speaking on the industry and dissing King Vaughn and talking about Dirk, and then he would come with a random post as he would say, quote, PSA, I'm a B-word. I was paid to entertain you, so don't take this serious. Now that was just one of the many times that NBA Youngboy has stated that all of this is just entertainment despite Dirk never acknowledging it himself but always says that he can't be paid to fake beef. Now for y'all that's out there and just think everything is a coincidence and faking beef for record sales and attention isn't a thing, don't forget the time when Lil Dirk admitted that someone from Takashi 6 ix camp called his management and tried to get Dirk to fake beef all for the sake of record sales. So keep in mind that staging fake wars in the music industry or in the entertainment industry period is in fact a thing. If y'all remember again, as far as entertainment goes, NBA Youngboy manager called himself announcing that Youngboy was approved to tour and his first stop on that tour was going to be in Chicago. Y'all remember that? Well, once again, it's all entertainment, man. Shout out to Gala Hagen, aka Miss G, because she called this years ago and told y'all that it's all just for entertainment and in fact, these guys really talk to each other behind the scenes, whether you believe it or not. Now, of course, everyone called her crazy, but as time go on and these things continue to reveal themselves throughout time, you will realize that she wasn't as crazy as most of you thought. Let's not forget the time when Tasha K also told us that they talk behind the scenes despite the fake beefing and what they put out in the media, all for sales and just streams. Now, for y'all that's confused where all this is coming from, NBA Youngboy got everyone scratching their head, wondering if he's telling the truth or he's just trolling after a recent claim he made about Lil Durk. Gilly the Kid was asked during his podcast who he wanted to see headline his tour or performing, and he would say that he would love to see Lil Durk and NBA Youngboy come together and perform at his Gilly Festival. Dude, for your own lineup, for your festival, what two people would you have as your headliners? What two people would you have on our headliners at our festival? If I could have two people as headliners at the Gilly Fest, it would be NBA Youngboy and Lil Durk. 
if I could have two people, it'd be Kanye and Drake. I'm just going younger just because if both of them could hit the stage. No, no, no. Travis Scott and Drake. If both of them could hit the stage in the same night, it could show the young yep. that. That's major. That shit ain't that serious, man. The beef ain't that serious. None of this drama ain't that serious. Nothing we got going on that serious. And it's all about giving the fans what they want and making money. That's what it's about. So. I find it funny that he really put in the caption that he's trying to manifest it. <laughs> right? I did find it funny because out of all the things in the world that he could be manifesting, he wants to manifest that. You know, and out of all the legends and people in the music industry, he chose to manifest Lil Durk and be a young boy because he wants to, quote, show the kids that the beef isn't that serious. Now, I'm going to get back to that, too. But anyway, after he said that almost immediately, NBA Youngboy will respond on Instagram as he would make some shocking claims himself. Check this out. Huh? OG, man, I talk to Dirk like every two, three nights, man. He be trying to talk to me about my music. and He, he focused on a billion dollars right now. You let him, hey, get, him, get him to let me out of this house. I, I hit that stage for you. How you want me to come? Every chain on or just one chain? Now keep in mind that the caption of that post said, quote, it ain't what you think, OG, all this ish entertainment. Now y'all follow me real quick, a quick sidebar, right? Y'all remember Gilly the Kid and Wilo for the million dollars worth of game podcast, they was giving about a hundred million dollars. That was a rumor that was going around. I'ma just say this, just know that that number, that amount of money always come with a price, right? Now I'ma leave that there, but I do find it funny that Gilly just so coincidentally got a call from somebody that don't sound like he's a part of the culture, right? And he says that who you want to see, what two people you want to see. He specifically said what two people. He didn't say who you want to see perform at the Gilly Fest. You know, he said what two people. It's almost like it was a setup, right? They was leading to that. It's almost like that was state. I don't know, call me crazy, but at the end of the day, it just sounds a little funny to me. And then actually, you know, NBA Youngboy is saying that him and Dirk talks almost all the time. So it was a little sketchy. And y'all got to keep in mind, when I said that that 100 million come with a price, is because now once you sign that agreement, you don't belong to you no more, right? You got to carry out certain things, but like I said, that's a whole nother story. Anyway, this is an NBA young boy's first time saying that the beef between him and Dirk pretty much isn't real and it's all just for entertainment. It's actually like the third time. Not to mention the more he says it and the more you see how things are playing out, the more I actually believe him. And for the people that swear everything is a conspiracy or a coincidence, go check out the past videos we did covering Vaughn, NBA young boy and Dirk and then you'll kind of see where we going with this. But anyway, let's get back into Gilly's comment. Gilly sat there and said that the beef between these two really isn't that serious, right? He literally said, I wanna show the kids the beef isn't that serious, it's about getting together and making money. <laughs> Man, listen, first off, it's funny how everybody try to use the kids as a gateway for their actions. And I don't know about y'all, but for the people that actually got a brain out there, y'all probably just as baffled as me. Vaughn lost his life behind this whole situation, and this man got the nerve to say that the beef ain't that serious. Get that money. <laughs> now, I can't even believe my ears. And the problem is we use money as an excuse for everything. Money got nothing to do with it. It's about morals. It's about standing on principles. And I'm not saying they have the beef, but I can never be cordial with someone who's associated with someone that took my brother off this earth and then laughed about it, right? Trolled them about it. In fact, I wonder how the real Vaughn supporters feel. I'm talking about the family members like Baylor, right? I'm talking about the friends like Edo. These are the people who was advocating and spoke the truth about Vaughn's passing when it first happened. I wonder how they feel. I wonder how the guys will look at Dirk if he really is speaking to NBA Youngboy. I also wonder how they'll look at him if he decides to actually do the show. And honestly, that music industry is like one big wrestling federation. I feel like Gilly saying that was a lead up to what we actually may see in the future and they'll use Gilly as an excuse for making it happen because it's all for the quote unquote kids, right? If what NBA Youngboy is saying is in fact true, this definitely is a bad look for Dirk and everyone surrounding him. 
And let me put it into perspective for y'all like this, right? Remember the time when the baby did the project with NBA Youngboy and everyone involved with Old Block and just Chicago period would call him out, including Mimo 600, Boss Top, Cowboy, and others. So just think, if they was mad at the baby for doing a project and being cool with Youngboy, then how would they react if Little Jerk is in any type of communication with Youngboy himself? <laughs> right? If they're gonna be that mad at the baby, they they're gonna be on fire. If they hear Lil Durk is actually in communication with Youngboy. And if they don't, then that just says a lot about them and the whole situation as a whole. And Youngboy could just be trolling, but y'all also have to remember that Dirk and Youngboy was never even into it with each other in the first place. Neither was Vaughn and Youngboy or Vaughn and Quando. It was just a situation with one of the baby mothers that was the root of all this, which originally stemmed from Asian Doll going to do a song with NBA Youngboy and also trolling Vaughn when they wasn't seeing eye to eye in their relationship. And quick sidebar, I find it funny how no one ever brings that up anymore. No one brings up the fact that if you really look at it, all of this really started because of Asian Doll, but the minute Vaughn passed away, she wanted to make a bunch of posts about how she misses him and rode his bandwagon until it was no longer beneficial to her. Vaughn and Youngboy and them didn't have any problems. Vaughn and Youngboy, Vaughn and Quando was cool. Almost the whole old block used to listen to NBA Youngboy and even after the situation, we caught a couple of them on live listening to Youngboy still, <laughs> right? So it was never an issue between them until that stunt Asian pulled and then the rest is history. But no one else holds her accountable for causing the messiness between both sides. However, we also know that she was just a pawn in this whole script. And if you've been tuned into the channel where we covered this situation, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. But that's another story. But back to Dirk, man. If NBA Youngboy is in fact telling the truth about speaking to Dirk every other day, knowing that Vaughn is gone and NBA Youngboy done dissed Vaughn plenty of times and trolled him after his death, then what does that say about Dirk? And once again, if you think I'm being too extra about it, how do you think Vaughn will react, right? If this is true, you gotta say if because it's all a legend. You know, NBA Youngboy could be lying, could be trolling, could just be being funny, right? Who knows? But I'm just saying, what if? <laughs> what if? And this isn't the first time he did kind of allude that it really isn't nothing there. It's all just for entertainment, right? And to put things into perspective for you once again, to do a performance or be cordial with NBA Youngboy is no different than Dirk or any of them being cordial with Charleston White after all the comments that he done made towards Vaughn and Obla. And it might be even worse because Charleston White just talking. These guys really did some type of harm in the situation and, you know, so forth. And it's crazy because I'm surprised at Gilly. And you know why? Gilly from the street, so Gilly should know better than trying to unite the two the way, you know. And I know y'all gonna say, who he trying to push peace? He's trying to make it peaceful between the two. I get it. But y'all gotta understand that these guys created these images, not us. These guys try to create this tough guy, take no mess, I'm from the street, I get you this, that, I spin blocks. They made this image for themselves, right? And you gotta remember that there's a way we could be cordial and still keep our distance from each other. Dirk and Youngboy don't have to be beefing and going at each other, but they don't have to be best of friends neither. This man and his associates literally laughed, literally trolled, did someone Dirk quote unquote called his brother after one of his affiliates had something to do with his death. And Gilly is encouraging them to do a show together? <laughs> Come on, man. Dirk shouldn't even be cool with something like that coming from Gilly, knowing the circumstance. And once again, before y'all sit there and say, oh, who are you trying to instigate before you do that, right? Think about if the shoe was on the other foot, right? What would Vaughn do? I just saw the hashtag. What would Vaughn do? Y'all think Vaughn really about to be here, be in cordial with somebody that is affiliated with someone that took his brother off the earth or somebody he considered his brother? No. And you know, another thing I was thinking, this is if this is in fact true, if he even decides to be in the same room as NBA Youngboy, this will cause a lot of controversy because now people will start asking him questions like, well, what about when Duck wanted everybody to come together? Right? Why you don't come together with none of your real ops in Chicago? That's the, that's going to be the next question. <laughs> right? If you could come together with NBA Youngboy, you could definitely come together with somebody from, you know, Chicago. That's really your op. These are the things that people will start asking, man. I'm just saying. But y'all jump in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this. Do y'all think that NBA Youngboy is just trolling? 
or do you think it's a little bit of truth or something that's going on behind the scenes don't forget to like comment share and subscribe hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content and remember as long as you keep on watching i'm gonna keep on dropping i'm out